it's time to make fabulous friendship bracelets the easy way with your friendship wheel. Your kit comes with enough string to make 10 different bracelets, and the best part is you can keep using your wheel again and again with other string. First off, let's get familiar with the design of your wheel and see what it's all about. In the middle of each wheel you will find the pattern ring. This shows you the design it makes. There is another pattern on the reverse side. The two wheels included in your package make a total of four different patterns. Hearts and stripes, diamonds and flowers. These are the petals. They show you what color string to use. As you can see, there are two notches in each petal. Hook the string into these notches. This is where you begin. You can make a bracelet using the colors shown on the wheel or create your own color combinations. Simply use the colors on the wheel as a guide. For example, this wheel has yellow hearts on a red background. To make blue hearts on a pink background, just put blue string where you see yellow petals and put pink string where you see red petals. We will show you the heart pattern, but it is important to note that all of the patterns are made in the exact same way. First, you have to figure out what color strings to use. The heart pattern uses two colors, so choose two colors. Cut 20 inch lengths of string for each notch in the petals on the wheel. You can use a ruler to measure the string or use the ruler printed on the instructions. For this bracelet, you will need 10 red and six yellow strings, all 20 inches long. Line up the ends of your string and tie them in a knot. Divide the strings into halves and put them around a pencil. Now tie all the strings together into one big knot close to the pencil. You now have a nice loop. This loop will hold the bracelet on your wrist. Place your loop into the hole in the center of the wheel. Pull out one strand at a time and place it in the notch with the matching colored petal. You've just strung your wheel! To create your bracelet, you will unhook one strand at a time, move it, and rehook it into another notch. You will need to know your right from your left. Your left hand makes the letter L. Again, any pattern can be made using these very same steps. Find the start arrow and rotate it to the top of the wheel. Unhook the start string on the right side of the pedal and rehook it into the notch to the right side of the pedal directly below the top one. Notice that you skipped three petals along the way. Now there will be a group of three strings on the bottom of your wheel. Unhook the string on the left of the group and rehook it up and to the left of the single string. Rotate your wheel counterclockwise so that the next petal is at the top. Let's see that one more time. We are unhooking the right string on the top and placing it to the right of the strings on the bottom. Then we unhook the bottom string on the left and rehook it to the left of the single string on top. Your strings will move in a circle, right to right, left to left. To keep track of your place on the wheel, always hold your thumb to the left of the top pedal that you are working with. As you work, you will need to untangle the loose strings often. Just comb them straight with your fingers. If you need to take a break, place the end of the string into the notch of where you will start when you return, like this. When your bracelet is long enough, unhook all of the strings from the notches and comb them straight. Now tie the strings into a double knot. One, two, 
two. Trim the ends of the string into a neat tassel and trim the strings close to the loop on the other side. Pass the knot through the loop to wear your bracelet and there you are. Now you can share it with a friend.